How's it going guys, it's me, the Don't Talk Who Huge Day, just catch up on Kids Nightmare episode 5. Now, this episode, I totally just refreshed my memory on this whole episode, and um, I think I'm interested in the way Kids Nightmare is going, because basically how I'm thinking that this is going right is that recently, episode 4 and 5 have been, you know, going up to an arc on all the Kids Nightmares, and basically, like, that's really it, because in a sense, this whole plot and some this anime is has to be toward these characters and then becoming friends and forming bonds because of their kids Niver status right and in this episode this episode 4 and 5 have been focusing a lot on Chidori and herself in general and like I thought it was pretty interesting actually now I'm thinking I'm watching it a second time and thinking about like what happens in episode 6 and 7 because those are future spoilers well, actually not spoilers because this has already been out for two weeks and I'm catching up. So yeah, this episode really did focus a lot on Chidori. And I'm thinking that if it's going the same plot and like same cycle of how it's going, then we're going to get sort of like episodes dedicated to every single Kiss Niver and just learn a little bit more about them. And I think that's actually interesting in a sense because in the beginning we already saw her got like a sense of Katsuhira. We just saw Tenga. We just sort of gathered these kids who are in this situation where they have to get to know each other and eventually they sort of do. They start to learn about each other a little bit by bit but then episodes 4 and 5 really do focus a lot on Chidori and just you know herself with and her caring for Kat like Kat Katsuhira. And then episode 6 and 7 you know if you guys watched it you guys know who that's for. But yeah I really like it and um uh, this is also cool because in this episode, episode 5, it does build up to the next character's arc who technically was Maki. M Maki Honoka? No, her name's Ma- I don't know what the frick her name- Maki. We'll just call her Maki because Honoka and Maki are technically from both from one life, so Maki. Maki is like, so, you know, we had the whole thing with Maki and, um, not Katsuhira, not Tenya, it's, um, Yuta? I think his name is Yuta, the one chubby kid who was chubby. I think his name is Yuta, but, um, yeah, like him, like Homaki just like going up on him. Like, I was hella confused at that part, but I was like, you know what? Like, it shows a lot about her character because her introduction in the beginning was like, oh, I killed someone, sort of thing. So it was like, you know, sort of driven that, you know, we're gonna learn about her next or in the future, like more about her. So I was pretty interesting. In this episode, we just really do see that Ka Chidori really cares and likes Katsuhira so much. Like, in the part when she's like facing the two bullies that bullied him, and then we found out that the kids Nivers and whatnot, she's just like trying to like grill up on them. It's like, oh, you know, how much pain you put Katsuhira and herself, and then, you know, like return his money and whatnot. It was really emotional. And the thing is that really interested me in this episode was that the, the kids Nivers' ability was evolving. Evolving as in like, that instead of feeling physical pain now and residual pain, they could feel emotional pain. And that was really cool because now it's sort of to the point where it's like, okay, at first they could feel pain, but now that they understand like the other's emotions and whatnot and what they're feeling, it's sort of like that their power is getting stronger and that they really will be able to like tell every single thing about them. They'll know every single detail about them and when they're in pain and what they're thinking and whatnot. It's really cool and unique in fact because you know like imagine you could feel the pain the emotional pain in someone's heart when they're like sort of sad or something like that like they could feel that they could feel the pain that they inflict like afflicted on them the physical pain and now they can feel emotional pain and that's really it's expanding sort of like how much they could like do this kiss nightmare thing because I didn't think they would actually do that like you know oh you have residual pain and then you can become friends sort of thing right but no they're feeling emotional pain now and that's just sort of expanding on what this series can do and I really enjoyed it so now I'm gonna end it there because episode 6 and 7 is really good and I want to talk about that next time so until then guys like the video if you enjoyed what do you think about the Chidori and Katsuhira pair because you know if Katsuhira likes Noriko, then that's fine. Like, I really don't care. I mean, it's all what ifs, to be honest. So, I'll see you guys on the next video. So, stay tuned, subscribe, because it'll be coming out real quick. Take care, guys, and Matane.